Do you want to know the literal easiest way to feel more confident right now? Like I'm literally going to tell you these steps, you're going to apply them and you're going to immediately feel more confident. That sound cool? All right, then let's get into it. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Adam Bunn and I'm a 15 year old kid and I just try and provide the best information I can for 100% free. So if you are new, go down and click on the subscribe and post notification button. It's a win-win for both of us. So I've always kind of struggled with confidence and if you know my story, you'll know that just back a few years ago, I was overweight and I got bullied a lot and all that stuff. So I never was really confident with speaking and with anything else like that. And about a year back, I read the book called The Way of the Superior Man. And I remember very specifically, there was one chapter called Breathe Down the Front, where the author David Diet or David Dida, I forgot how you say his name. Is it David Diet or David Dida? No, now I'm gonna search this up. All right, David. David D. I'm gonna say David Dida. And basically in this chapter, the author David Dida was talking about how to properly breathe. And if you don't know, this book is basically just about like how to be more masculine, you know, masculine, feminine energy, this type of stuff. But it's overall just a book about how to be a better man. But in this specific chapter, he was talking about how the way you breathe affects how confident you feel. It affects how present you are. It affects how much other people can tell how present you are. Like literally, we have like this instinct when we see someone else and we'll know how confident they are just by how shallow they're breathing. And if you just become aware of the way you're breathing right now, you're probably breathing like a little bitch. I'm just gonna be honest with you, you're probably breathing shallowly through your mouth or something like that. But in this video, I'm gonna teach you the exact way to breathe to become more confident. Because this is the simplest way to literally immediately feel like just taking one breath like this will indeed 100% make you more confident. And I'm gonna break down how to do this properly. So when you inhale, it must go through your nose and then to the lower stomach, as I mentioned. And I don't even want to see comments saying like, oh, but out of my nose is so clogged, so I can't even breathe out of it. The reason that you can't breathe through your nose and the reason that your nose is clogged is because you don't use it for its intended purpose. Like, it's so simple. The reason your nose is clogged is because you don't use it. So the more you'll use it, the less clogged it will be. And I promise you, like I used to hear this and I thought, no, I'm not, not my nose, maybe some people's, but you know, mine, I have allergies, it's so clogged. No, bro, like, it's literally prime allergy season. I can still breathe just fine. And I used to be like, <laughs> so you just need to use your nose more. So I don't even want to see fucking Colin saying that shit. So once the air travels to the lower part of your stomach, you want to imagine you were filling up your energy centers. Now your energy centers, you might've heard them, the chakras. That's like the fucking guru. Align your chakras, all that shit. That's not what we're talking about. Energy centers are just the centers in your body that have more energy. That's just the simplest way to put it. It's not like Mars is aligned with this. Like, nah, that's, that's the guru shit. I don't like following that. So simply put, it's the places that have more energy. And I'll also show a photo to you guys of where they are. So you can imagine that when you're breathing, you are filling up these energy centers and that in turn is going to give you more confidence. So starting with the lowest center, you're going to breathe in. All like, almost imagine that you're breathing into your brain. And you, it's still gonna be silent. You're not gonna be breathing like, you know, you're not gonna sound like a dumbass. Like it's still gonna be silent, but breathe as deep and as slow as you can while still making it silent. And that's a pretty good way to reference and kind of see how deep you can breathe. So doing this breath, breathing in through your nose, down to the lower, down to your balls, bro, I'm just gonna be real with you. Breathe down to your balls. Then imagining that you're filling up the energy centers all the way up to your brain and then exhaling will indeed make you more confident. I was doing this breathing literally just before I filmed these, you know, I've, I filmed a, one other video today. I was doing this breathing right before I, and I mean, I'm kind of doing it right now at the same time, but I was doing this breathing before I filmed these videos. And then when I come on camera, my voice is deeper. It's more resonant. It sounds better. I feel more present. I look more present. And you're probably realizing like, I'm not even going off a script right now. This is just coming off the top of my head. I'm not sat here going like, uh, 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 like most people do because I'm breathing deeply. I'm present. I actually know what I'm saying right now. Most people don't even realize what they're saying when they're talking. So let's do a little role play, baby. Let's imagine that we're having a conversation and we're talking and I'm the one talking to you. While I'm talking, you should be listening and breathing, doing this very deep breathing. And people will be able to sense when you're doing this breathing that you're present, that you're confident, and they'll see you as more charismatic. In the book, The Charisma Myth, she talked a lot about how when you're breathing deeply, like people can just sense this. Like we literally have like 
some type of ancestral primal sense to tell when someone is breathing deeply. And when someone is breathing deeply, we can tell they're relaxed, we can tell they're confident. You shouldn't be breathing more than, what's it, like, 10 times a minute or something like there's some I forgot dr. Andrew Huberman said this once but like you shouldn't really be breathing that many times and this is the whole example of like quantity versus quality would you rather have quantity of short little shallow breaths or the quantity of having these deep present confident breaths you know I would much rather the quality breaths because they'll just get me more oxygen in general so try this out the next time you feel anxious or just any time you want to feel more confident and I promise you it will help you within seconds as always be a doer not a thinker and I'll see you in the next one